Welcome back to the Nathan Drake Collection. We're doing all the collectibles in Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. Now there's 101 of them, so keep your arms inside the ride and hold on your hats and let's kick off things with the first collectible in Chapter 1. Now this is in the bar and right at the very beginning after you do the whole melee section and now go ahead to this uh, slot machine type thing or whatever it is and pick up your first treasure as well as your first trophy. Now number two is going to be in the behind the bar, so before you follow Sully outside that door, swing around here and pick that up, and that is going to be it for chapter one. Now chapter two, at the very beginning of the museum here, look for the cannons on the right hand side. There's three of them, or four of them, but on the third one, if you look inside the barrel, you can pick up the third treasure. Now we're going to go through these pretty quickly because there is 101 of these, and I'm going to do them all in one single video. So we're going to go ahead and pick this one up, and there's another one about 20 uh, meters away. If you go back here, we're going to go into this little kind of dead end area back here underneath the bells and pick up another treasure. Then we're eventually going to get thrown outside of the museum, get kicked out, and you'll see the little blue car just in front of me here. And what we're going to do is just go to the right of it, and along the side of the building is going to be our fifth collectible. Now you're going to get a trophy for every 20 that you find. Uh, you'll get one for finding the strange relic and then you'll get a gold trophy for getting all 101 of them. Now just a little bit later on you're going to enter this market area with a whole bunch of people kind of uh, wa walking around. Go to the right side, look for the glass jars and the treasure is going to be tucked right inside of here. And then from this location, we're going to actually find the next one close by. Now, Sully went off to the in front of us there to the right. Don't follow him just yet. Instead, go down the road here to the left. And then you're going to see these white stairs. If you take a left here, it'll lead you right to the next treasure. Now, after that, you're going to be climbing on the building here. This is just after you've peeped through the window and saw a conversation with Sully. He's going to leave the building and you're going to have to jump over here to this uh, railing. And once you're up here, just go to the very end of this and you will find the next treasure. And then you'll see the blue building just beyond that. We're gonna climb that roof to the next uh, treasure. So we're gonna skip forward here and you're gonna uh, climb this roof to the uh, sign here. You got the hotel sign and you're supposed to climb the sign and climb down. Instead, if you look in the O in the hotel, you'll see the treasure sitting right there. Now that's it for chapter two, moving on to chapter three. Uh, you're going to jump over to the, this uh, across here, hold on to this roof. You take this and you actually go to the other opposite side. And once you uh, get over here, you're gonna drop down and the treasure is going to be right here in the corner. Now the next two are gonna be in the blue set of doors just, uh, just ahead, so we're going to uh, get three of them here within just a matter of a moment. So we pick that up and we're gonna go through this door. There's two inside of this room. One is in the diving suit and you can see it blinking in the foreground there. So pick that up and then if we go to the right, you see another set of blue doors. Just to the right of those doors is the next treasure. And that's it, we're moving on to chapter four. This is near the very beginning. Uh, once you control uh, Drake here and you climb over this kind of railing, we're going to just go right to the alley to the right. And then we're gonna eventually climb into this warehouse. Now you're gonna do a lot of climbing along these pipes here, but once you get here, drop down twice and then jump over to the right. And then just follow this over this platform and you will find treasure number 14. So again, we're going through these pretty quickly. Now in the same building, uh, you're going to eventually drop down to the floor. Now once you're down here, look for the tall stack of crates in the corner this doesn't make any sense. and climb up here and at the top of this is going to be the next one. Still in chapter four, you're going to make your way and you're going to encounter some enemies here. We're underground and you see these generators just in front of us. Now I'm playing this on crushing difficulty. Because again, the crushing is unlocked from the beginning in the Nathan Drake collection. And you have a little tutorial on how to shoot. In this room, we're going to jog uh, over here to the right, and you'll see the treasure. And then later on, you're going to enter this kind of like silo thing, the inside of it. And what we need to do is go up, not this first pipe, but we're going to go up the second pipe. 
And this is going to lead us to the strange relic. The strange relic it has its own trophy for finding this. So again, the second pipe here, climb up, jump over one more. And the strange relic is going to be right here to our left. Or to our right, rather. And the next one is going to be to our left. And there's the relic finder trophy. So we're going to drop down from this location. And now move over to the left, drop down. Jump across, slide down, and you see right there behind the grate is the treasure. So a little bit later on, you're going to climb out, and you're going to be in this area here, and you need to climb up these little handholds. You're supposed to go up and then a right and then down. Instead, jump up and keep going to the left. And that's it in Chapter 4. Moving on, Chapter 5, this is kind of the, uh, the library area. And you're going to see an elephant head up above there. If you climb up at this point and then jump over to the left, just above us is going to be the treasure. And that is number 20, so we're going to get a trophy for finding. Uh, again, every 20 you'll get a trophy. Now in the same room, if you leave and then go up the stairs and then re-enter here, we're on the top floor. On the far back is going to be the next treasure. Now there used to be a trophy here for going on the crocodile uh, that's hanging off the, uh, the railing there. Unfortunately in the Nathan Drake collection, that trophy does not exist. So as we're leaving, we're going back to the train area. This is the second timer here. If you look up above this train over here to our left, if you shoot down the treasure, you can climb this train and uh, collect it from the roof. And a little bit later on, you're going to be at a train station. This is the North At uh, Atwood station. And this treasure is going to be in the front of the train on the tracks. Now we're moving on to chapter 6. This is right at the very beginning, as you can see by the on-screen pop-up there. You're going to come to a creek. Once you get to that creek, it's a very little stream here. Just immediately go to the right, follow it to the end, and you will find number 24. Now a little bit later on, not far, you're going to be going through the forest. And there's going to be multiple paths here. And you're going to see the chateau in front of us there. Stay to the left. If you stay to the left and go up this path here again to the left, as long as you hung the left, uh, hang on the uh, on the left side, you'll get to this. Now we're going to climb the outside of the chateau, and you're supposed to go in, uh, enter through this opening here. Instead, skip past it, and then we're going to go up, and we're going to find a second entrance into this. Now you can drop down into the chateau from here, but before you drop down, make sure you pick up this treasure. Now you're going to climb up some stairs. You and Sully are going to have a little cutscene, a non-skippable cutscene. You're going to be looking out the window. As soon as you gain control of Nate, uh, go to the right of the staircase here. Follow this to the back for number 27. Now the next one is going to be after you squeeze through here, lift up the planks. And this is going to be in the room with the statue puzzle where you need to turn the statues towards each other. Now in the room just to the left of it, here's the statue room. Just in the room just to the left, if you look up on the curtain rod right at the end, another treasure you have to shoot down. And then after you solve that puzzle, you're going to go through the fireplace and you're going to drop down into this cave. Immediately stay to the right, and behind this rock, you're going to run right into it. So next up is where you do the grenade tutorial. The game is going to show you how to aim throw, uh, holding L2, then tap L1 while you're holding L2, throw the grenade. Uh, the treasure itself is actually going to be right below us. So if we drop down, so it's right below where we did the grenade tutorial. Now after the next section, big shootout in the next open area, you and Sully are going to break through this door. What you need to do is go up. So don't go down just yet, go up. You're going to do some platforming for this one. Walk across this uh, plank here and you can see the treasure sitting right there. 
And the last one in chapter six is after you solve this puzzle with the pressure blocks, it's gonna open up this door. And if you go to the final room, just keep following this back. If you look up, you can shoot the treasure down. So pick that up and then let's go ahead to chapter seven. Now this is uh, once you climb in here and this uh, floor is going to drop. It's going to uh, go to a 45 degree angle here. Sully is going to jump over. What you need to do before going to the right is turn around and jump across. And the treasure will be right in front of you on the ground. Really hard to see, but it'll be there. Just look for the prompt. Chapter 8. This is at the very, very beginning. You're going to have to cross the bridge here. Now halfway across the bridge, you can jump off to the right. And then uh, we're going to make our way down and you can see the treasures kind of blinking at us here flashing so come down here and pick that up and then next up you're going to with the help of Sully lower drawbridge now there's gonna be two treasures very close by here there's no enemies in this spot but once you go through the drawbridge if you look in the very corner of the building here and look up right there it's really hard to see, but it is flashing. You're going to have to shoot that down and pick that up. And then next up, you have to shoot the lock on a door to enter the next section. Sully, over here. So as soon as you shoot this open, uh, as soon as you enter this door, go straight to the right. Now this is after you've taken that bucket down, you have to jump to that bucket and you get lowered down to this area. Now there's a bunch of enemies here, but if you go to the back left corner, this is in the room next to where you have to climb up, you can pick up the treasure. And then after you've climbed up, you have to shoot the lock to let Sully in through a door. He's gonna do the same thing for you here. So once you've exited, look straight up above you, right on the corner of that building. Now a little bit later on, you're going to go through this uh, gate here with the help of your friends. Now what you need to do is follow this circular area to the right. And this is going to be right on the windowsill. Now this is at the very end of the chapter. There's a big, big shootout here. And ultimately, Sully is going to use the rocket launcher to blow an opening in the building that gives you the access to the next area, which he's going to do right there. Once you enter here, before you start climbing up, look in the corner here and you'll see the treasure. And again, that's number 40, so we're going to get another trophy. And now we're going to go to chapter 9. This is uh, the puzzle here with the, the big globe in the center. Once you enter this area, follow it around to the left, stay along the outside wall, and you'll run right into it. Now the next one is going to be after you lit all the uh, fire with the torches, and it's going to raise the water. Now if you look over to our right and above us, you're going to see a treasure kind of blink in there. What you need to do for this is shoot it down, but you have to be right underneath it in the water, and then it's, when you shoot it, Spam the triangle button because you have to catch this out of midair. So shoot and then spam the uh, triangle button to catch it. Now after you've solved the glow puzzle, you're going to walk up this exceptionally long winding staircase. Did I mention it was a long staircase? Once you get up here, Drake's going to grab the torch here on the left. And right behind Sully on the ground is going to be the treasure. Now we're going to chapter 10. This is at the very beginning. Right, Elena, Sully, and yourself are going to walk down these stairs. And before you go through the gate in front of us, we're going to swing around to the left of the stairs to find the treasure. Now the next one is real close by, so we're going to continue down some more a different set of stairs. And you're going to have to, again, swing around, this time to the right, and you'll see a little fountain. And this is tucked in the corner on the right. So a little bit later on, after the bald guy here opens this gate for you, you're supposed to climb a ladder that's going to be along the right side. So if you turn right, you'll get to the ladder. But if you go straight, you'll find the uh, 46th treasure.
Now next up is very close by. You're going to enter this building here. Go up the stairs and you're supposed to go to the hallway to the right. Instead, if you swing around behind you, you see that red couch. Right on the floor to the left of it is the treasure. Now a little bit later on, you got this section here in the market. This is actually where you get the, uh, the sturgeon trophy. But as soon as you've meleeed everybody there, before you continue on uh, following them, go over here to the right. Now there's three treasures within just uh, meters of each other here. So pick up that one, then go down the stairs and swing back around. Pick up this one here and there's another one right above us. So there's three treasures in this section. So make sure you get all three of them. And now we're gonna go to chapter 11. This is again at the very beginning and you're gonna drop down this well. Once you've dropped down, it's actually going to be on the back side of this uh, area here. So we're going to shimmy to the right and then we're going to swing around. And once we swing around, you'll see the treasure right there, right there on the lip. Now, after you've solved the puzzle in that room, you're going to exit down this hallway. And then you're going to go into another hallway here that continues on. Uh, the floor is kind of a greenish blue color on the left and right. Right in the corner as you enter it is the treasure. And then you're gonna have a split in the path. You're going to have a puzzle room on the left and then you're gonna have a puzzle room on the right. Now there's one treasure in the room to the left and two in the right. So let's go to the left first because I always go left first. I don't know why I'm given a choice between two directions, I always go left. And this is where you got to get the cogs and put them in the right order. Looks like it's some sort of mechanism. If you go up and then uh, jump over here to the dirt behind this pillar is the treasure. So now we're going to go to the other um, room. So we're going to go down the right path. This is the, the body part puzzle. Okay. All the floating body parts. Now the first of two treasures in here is going to be along the back side of the staircase. So jump down, go to the left. And then what you need to do is pick up the rod, the light rod here. And then use this to shine it on the bats. The bats, for some reason, were carrying the treasure. So you shine the lights on it, it will drop the treasure and you can pick it up. Now, after you've made your way out of the uh, well and climbed your way back up, you're going to leave and go back out in the civilization here. As soon as you exit, immediately turn to the right and straight ahead of you is a treasure. Now, in this area, there's also three treasures. So that's number one of three. Now you're going to see a fountain in the center of this area. From the direction we're going, there's going to be one to the right of it and then one to the left. So let's go over here to the right first. You see it sitting right there on the end of the bench. Now these things are out in the open. I'm not entirely sure how all of these random people walking around didn't find uh, very expensive treasure. Maybe they're just an honest people. I don't know. The next one is going to be on the opposite side, as I mentioned. You see it sitting right here on the ground. All right, so later on, you're going to do a chase sequence. This lasts for a couple minutes, and this is towards the very end. And what you're going to eventually do, and I took the wrong way, got to go through this door and immediately go to the right into this opening. You'll know you're in the right area because you'll see the prompt there, where the hell did he go? So make sure you pick that up. And then move on to chapter 12. This is at the very beginning after you've meleeed, oh, about a dozen people. Climb up and then jump from the container over to this container here and it'll be right in the corner. And we got another trophy, the Adept Fortune Hunter. All right, so after you swung your way out of this room, you're going to find uh, empty gun holsters. Of course it's empty. And then go through this door here. Now you need to go to the left and open another door, but instead go through the open one to the right and in this empty room is that treasure. And then you're going to head to the big large boat area. This is a, this can be a pain in the ass section on the uh, crushing difficulty, but on the, in the back right corner, there's a turret. You can see the kind of the green boathouse thing right in front of us. We're going to climb up on top of that and then use this as a launching platform to get to the uh, to where the, the ledge we need to go. So we're going to turn around 
and then jump up here and then follow this and you will actually be led straight to the treasure. There is also a uh, the hammer gun is right here. The M32 hammer. So keep following it back here and you'll find the treasure. Now at the very uh, couple sections later you're going to jump across here and you can see the treasure kind of blinking in front of us there on the uh, the beam. Now we're going to have to do uh, quite a bit of platforming to kind of get around to it. We're going to have to swing around, down, over, and around. So the natural path is this way. You need to go up those stairs. Before going up those stairs to get to this treasure, just drop down here. And this is your uh, path to the treasure itself. Now after this, you're going to have scale the side of a very large ship. At the very end of that section, uh, you're going to come here and have to jump across these two yellow poles. And then swing to a ladder. Or, I'm sorry, swing to a rope. What you need to do here is stop your momentum and actually walk up the rope. This is a very well-hidden treasure. Enter this room, and there is the treasure sitting right there on the ground. So we're going to go back to that rope. And continue our swing over to the next jump here. Now there's two more treasures in this uh, within uh, seconds of each other here. What we need to do is get to the back side of this. Now I'm not entirely sure why Drake decided he wanted to climb up when I wanted him to climb left. But nonetheless, we're eventually going to get over here. It's not exactly pretty, but we'll get to it. So we're going to pick this up and then we're going to go through the door just above us and that's the control room. And inside this control room is, uh, there's going to be a, a short little cutscene, but there's going to be a zip line rope. So after the cutscene, do not zip line. You're going to see a triangle prompt. Do not hit it. Instead, go to the back corner and pick up that treasure. Now you're safe to go zip line. Now this is the very beginning of chapter uh, 13. You've got these little floating platforms. The f uh, there's three of them here. The first one I'm going after is in the back left corner. And you'll see this yellow container is going to be inside of it. Now the next one from that location is going to be on the exact opposite side. So from where you enter the area, the first one was on the back left. This is going to be on the far right side. You can kind of see it over there. Now the next one is going to be on the back uh, side of this area, uh, near the ship that you need to jump over to. So from that one, we're just going to essentially swing around with the opposite side. So there's the, the blue boat you're going to ultimately have to jump to. Or try to jump to, rather. So pick that up, and we're going to chapter 14, Cruising for a Bruise and the Big Cruise Ship. This one has a very brutal battle um, it, it is, it, towards the end of it. I'm sure most of you guys are quite aware of it, because it could be quite difficult on crushing. But at the very beginning of this chapter, before you go, run up those stairs, go to the left, pick up the treasure, and then continue going to the back end of the boat, and you're supposed to jump over to the, the orange and white dinghy that's to my right. Skip past that for now and go around the back corner to pick up the next one. Now in this section you gotta go through the red doors. Uh, you're gonna have to clear a bunch of enemies. There's going to be uh, waves coming on and the boat's gonna shake left and right. If you jump back up here, you can pick up the treasure. And then as soon as you clear that entire area, you're gonna open those red doors. And uh, you see a pool here. This is actually a bonus little trophy for you. If you go in the pool, you will get the Marco Solo trophy. Then get out of the pool, go to the back left, and you'll find our 73rd treasure. Alright, so here is the big fight sequence. This is the very end of it. Again, on crushing difficulty, it can be uh, quite difficult. But when you end exit, you're supposed to go to the hall to the left. Instead, continue around and pick this up. And now we're going to go ahead and go down the hall we're supposed to. This is a natural story path. You're going to see a guy to the left with his back to you. Now, we'll take care of him in just a moment, but for the time being, skip past him, and just in front of you will be the treasure. 
All right, so now we're taking out that guy with his back to us, and we need to go through the uh, doorway here to our left. And then two rooms later, you're going to see this guy take him out, and behind the bar on the ground is the treasure. So still in the same mission, uh, this is actually just a little bit later, not far from the previous one. You're going to have to come down the staircase, and before going to, through the doorway to the right, swinging around underneath the stairs is the treasure. Now we're going to take it from here to the next one because it's close by. You and uh, the blue barrel is going to join me for some reason. Continue down the path here. Once you enter this next section, immediately turn left. So chapter 15, there's only one. This is still in the cruise ship. You're trying to get out of the sinking ship here. And you're going to do a bunch of platforming. Everything is kind of turned upside down here. But you're going to jump up to this door and you're going to see a bathroom with a bathtub in it. You're going to only spot the bathtub. When you see the bathtub, that is your cue that you need to jump into this room to get the treasure. And now we're moving on to chapter 16. This is a, uh, also the very beginning. You and Elena are going to go enter this building. Again, right at the very beginning. As soon as you enter, you see this uh, tall stack of crates right in front of us. You'll find this sitting at the very top. So you're going to leave this building and then you're going to go uh, climb the roof here. And there's a multiple ways you can enter this next uh, this next area. I'm going to go and just drop down and run straight to the treasure without clearing the room first. I highly recommend you clear the room first. But this is going to be in the back corner on top of some more crates. To pick up the treasure and I died because I'm playing on crushing, to be expected. Now the next building you're going to climb up and jump in through this little window. And this is the large area off to the right. Instead, turn to the left, you'll see this car, and back in the corner is the treasure. And that's it. There's no treasure in Chapter 17, so Chapter 18 has one single treasure, and that's when you come to the well. Oh, thank God. And this treasure is actually inside of this vase, so you're going to have to shoot this open in order to reveal it. Let's move on to chapter 19. As you come to the settlement, you've got the main entrance there in front of us. Uh, off to the left of it is going to be the treasure. Pick that up, and then you're going to have to climb up. This is to the right of that main entrance. You can jump over here, fall through the ceiling. Once you get up, immediately look to your left. So this one and the previous one are close to one another. Then you're going to drop down into a well, and then you're going to climb up out of the well in a different area. And as soon as you climb back up into the settlement, you're going to come here and immediately, as soon as you go through this doorway here, swing around just behind the wall is the treasure. Now a little bit later on, you're going to have this dude shooting at you from above. So take him out. His body is actually going to fall, and right past the, bo uh, the body is the treasure. So I'm going to go right above where we just were, jump over there. Now there was an enemy that was right here, I shot him already, and then a sniper is going to pop up. Shit. Before moving on, Ridiculous. swing over here behind this pillar and you'll find the treasure. Now we're going to jump up there, this is where the sniper was. Uh, after you've cleared out all of these enemies, which by the way that's a good location to get all the grenade throwback trophies, but in this area. Uh, go here to the back left corner. Make sure you do this before you squeeze through the wall. And then you're going to go squeeze through that wall I mentioned. And then as soon as you come out of it, you're going to need to jump over the railing. Off to the left, you can see the uh, path over there. Instead, turn to the right. And then in the very next section, you're going to have this very large shootout here. You're going to have that vehicle shooting you from somehow. I don't know how that vehicle got on top of that roof. But again, what I'm going to do is run straight to the treasure without clearing out enemies. Because I'm an idiot. 
And this is going to be in the back right corner. And you know what's going to happen after I pick this up. So chapter 20, uh, this is at the very, very, very end of chapter 20. You're going to end up coming through this doorway here. You're going to uh, reach a puzzle where you and Sully both have to hit uh, some levers at the same time. But as soon as you go through that door, you got this little hill here of dirt. Pick that up, and we're going to go into the next room. This is kind of where the puzzle's at. Not a very complicated puzzle. And just beyond that door is the start of chapter 21. So we need to open that door, but before we do, we actually have uh, a treasure, two treasures we need to pick up here. So climb up the ladder on the right, and then you can drop down here to pick this treasure up. Now you're going to have to climb back up that ladder once again. And then you're going to jump over this thing hanging right here and then just shimmy right around and you'll uh, run right into the treasure. So chapter 21, we just solved that puzzle. The door is open and you're going to uh, see this absolutely beautiful um, scenery here. Well done on uh, Naughty Dog's part. But as soon as you get to the, the bottom of the stairs, there's a split dead end path over here to the left. There's a treasure. Actually, I guess it's not dead end because technically if you want to, you can leap off of it. But nonetheless, go back up and follow the, uh, the story path. And you can take a little detour into this building here to our left. And you want to do that because there's where the treasure is located. All right, so the very uh, next big fight here, and this is a pretty complicated fight, uh, pretty deadly. So from the start, go to the building on the right here, and on the second floor on the, on the uh, top of the stairs is the treasure. Now after that, you're going to wake up uh, in a daze here, uh, wake up in an elevator. And before you get off of this elevator, make sure you pick up this treasure here before continuing on. And then the last one in chapter 21 is going to be in the pool. After you solve the little pool puzzle, you're going to jump out of it and then uh, go into this room and it'll be halfway through this section on the left side. And that's it. We're going to chapter 22, the final two collectibles. I'm excited. It's chapter uh, 22, this is actually in chapter 21 where I'm at running down these stairs. Chapter 22 is going to start right here. So you're going to get down to the bottom. You're going to spot, uh, spot your objective. See some enemies run out. Now immediately before you continue around the path, go back here in the corner. And you can pick that up. And there's the Master, Master Fortune Hunter trophy for finding 100 treasures. Now again, there's 101 with the strange relic. So the final one is going to be this area here with the waterfall. Uh, there's some, you see the big chains here to my right. Just keep continuing to the end of this. There's no enemies in this section, but before you go up these stairs in front of me, go to the uh, door in front of us here. And that is going to be number 101. We're going to get the Master Thief Collection Trophy. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched all three uh, Uncharted game collectible guides, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys have subscribed. And of course, like, comment. And until next time, happy trophy hunting.